back, baby. It's Stephen Lord time all the time, and you know. Welcome back. Oh. Welcome back. Okay, this is part of the finale, if you will, um, of them going through these things again. They're really are teaching us if we just go and uh, you know and apply. Um, but let's go. Um, what? It's because hmm. there's something that's been gnawing at my belly, and I think we need to talk about it. Mm. Oh, what is it, Steve? Well, ever since you professed your your romantic feelings for me, mm -hmm. I feel like I'm caught in this weird, wacky love triangle. Also pay attention to the words that are coming out of Steve's mouth. You notice how Steve said, you profess your romantic feelings for me. That was very specific. He didn't just say feelings in general, right? Because I think Steve always knew deep down Laura had feelings for him. Now what you're seeing out of her is her romantic feelings, you know, um, for him. But once again, like I said, what are we seeing here? You know, they, they older, you know what I'm saying? They only grown man, they only grown, only grown woman, but you're still seeing a consistency. Steve, I have feelings for you and Stefan. And I'm doing my best to work them out. Mm. Well, maybe it would help if I knew what kind of triangle I was in. Mm. See, okay. if it's an isosceles triangle, I got a lot of tension up to do. Right, right, right. If it's equilateral, well, then I'm doing better than I thought. <laughs> if it's scaling, oh, just give it to me straight. I can tell <laughs> Steve, believe me, it's as hard on me as it is on you. Oh, I don't stand a chance. Mm. You and I have never even been out on a real date. So look, we just got to observe this again. Steve, pick your head up, boy. Pick your head up. You know, him and Stefan on a level playing field. Level playing field. He, she said, I have feelings for both of you guys. She didn't say, you know, and Laura, I think, would tell Steve here, right? Like, Steve, I have feelings for you, but I love Stefan, right? She doesn't say that, you know, but I think in Steve's mind, that's still what he hears. But that's not what Laura's saying. Laura's saying basically, Barbara, you you on an even playing field. What you got? What you got for me? What you got? What am I gonna do? Mm. Uh, here's a fresh thought. Why don't you ask me out? Boom. Boom. You're right. <laughs> I've been so shocked and amazed that you're no longer repulsed by me that I've completely neglected to ask you out. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, okay. <laughs> Laura Lee. Yes, Steve. <laughs> Would you go out with me this Friday night? Sorry, I'm busy. Oh. <laughs> but I'm free Saturday night. Uh-oh. Hallelujah! Uh-huh, yeah. Hell has finally frozen over! For real. <laughs> I don't think we caught our thumb. I don't think we caught our We'll have a romantic meal and a more race. Look at Laura. Laura's like, a more race? Boy, what you talking, what you talking, what you walking? It's to die for. Saturday night Talk to her. will be the most wonderful night of your entire life. Talk to her. Talk to her. Oh. <laughs> Steve, that is not how you exit a room. That is not how you exit a room after you... No. Did you hear? I got a date with Laura. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Steve! Oh, my! Uh-oh. Look, we went, we went from sour to sweet, back to sour. Oh, my goodness, Steve. Come on now. This is what it looks like. Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah, you're all dismissed. Oh. Hi. Oh, here, Steve. Can we talk about what happened last night? I always thought I was a strong person, but mm -hmm. when Myra showed up in that... Sexy leader horsing and, and polka music. <laughs> Basically seducing him, right? She 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 seduced him. But once again, what do I what do, what do we keep saying here? Right? Steve's like, can we talk about it? Laura said, yes, Steve. They're talking about it. And string cheese? Well, I just lost all control. When I saw you kissing Myra, I felt well, I felt a little jealous. Mm. What? What? Mm. <laughs> Back tomorrow forever, mm, mm, mm. and it made me realize that I wanted to give our relationship a chance. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. So, so you're saying you'll still go out with me? You bet. Next Saturday night. Yes. Yeah. 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 There's big doings down at the polka hall. We're planning this year's polka palooza. Polka pa what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Steve, Laura, Laura doesn't know this. Polka polka pa what? She don't know this language yet. It's only Chicago's biggest polka event ever. It's the Woodstock of polka. Hmm. Now, 
keep this under your head. Mm -hmm. But I think we're gonna get stock kibbits and the kibbitones. Mm. <laughs> Jump back on him, Laura, huh? Jump back on him? Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. Right. <laughs> so save next Saturday for me, baby. Why? Don't you want to go to Pocapalooza with me? I'd rather have a spinal tap. Yikes. Oh, but Laura, you have to go. I even bought you this swell polka dress. Mm. <laughs> look at Laura. Look at Laura. You know, look at Laura with her little kind face. No, no. And it, these are more serious situations, too, because now Steve and Laura are actually together. You know, they are an item. It's even been scotch guarded to repel kielbasa juice. You know, that's really tempting. It really but is. But I think I'll pass. Yeah. Uh, this is very important to me. Steve, so is my dignity. <laughs> now, Laura, if we're going to have a successful relationship, there's going to have to be some give and take here. Mm. That means I do everything you want, and once a year, you do <laughs> one thing I want. <laughs> Man, why is that so accurate? Women, we have to get better. I'll give you anything else. My car, my life savings, even a kidney. But please, don't ask me to poker. Don't ask me to poker, poker. Mm. Oh, She's not there yet, Steve. How? To the polka palooza. I was hoping I'd take Laura. She wouldn't be caught dead there. <laughs> no, please, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> well, hasta. Hasta. Steve, wait. Hasta la vista. Look at her. Look at her face, though. Look at her face, though. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Look, look at it, look at it, look at it. Yeah. I have vision. I feel like I'm the star of Heidi Comes to Harlem. Uh-huh. So does this mean you're going to the Pocapalooza with me? I hope, I hope, I hope. No, I'm auditioning to be the new St. Pauli girl. Oh. Of course I'm going. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but we're leaving through the kitchen, and I'm lying on the car floor while you drive. I love, and I love. What do you think I got this 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 giddy up all for? You know, but I think she also kind of wanted Steve to know too. Like, of course I'm I was gonna come around eventually. Just give me some time, Steve. Oh, this could be the most wonderful night of my life. And the most embarrassing of mine. <laughs> Hi, Steve. What oh, is this your new little sweetie? No, it's really sweet. <laughs> I'm a chicken choker. Oh. Go to school for that? <laughs> Steve, I... Laura's trying so hard. You go to school. I don't know what to say to these people. <laughs> Laura's coming in and they are completely embracing her. You know, really kind of giving you the mindset of maybe everybody wasn't so macadocious with Myra. You know what I'm saying? And they see that Laura is this kind of genuine, beautiful girl. And Myra was probably... You know, she was on her Stefan, probably trying to talk everybody into a class. And Laura's probably, a, you know, a breath of fresh air. Love it. Cannot take you enough for stalking the inner city poker clinic. <laughs> Would you like to meet the treetop poker takes? Oh. Treetop poker takes. <laughs> <laughs> Go and see Kinder. Oh. Laura's trying to keep up. Be Klein and Kinder. I am Steve Urkel. Mm. I am Steve Urkel. Mm. <laughs> Mm. We all see Virgil. Oh, thank you, kids. I don't mind. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. That's impact right there. Laura, because is Stefan doing stuff like that, huh, Laura? Okay, I'm sorry. The same about Laura and Stefan. I'm sorry. It's about Laura and Steve and getting through the bad situation. Never mind. I, I digress. Steve, this is amazing. You started a clinic? Wow, well, Punk is giving me so much. I just had to give something back. Mm -hmm. Steve, you're incredible. Mm. Oh, no, I'm just an ordinary guy in canvas pants with a crazy dream. Yeah. Oh, it actually says, Steve, you're incredible. People look over these big, big gestures because Laura's so chill with it. You know what I'm saying? But for her to tell Steve you're incredible in front of all these people, that's big time. Oh, oh don't let this one get away. Mm -mm. You know yeah, don't let him. Don't let him. <laughs> look at this. Look at these two. Drag me down here, but I ended up 
having one of the best times of my life. Mm. That's the magic of polka. What I love is, first of all, I love how Laura's looking at him. But second, what I love about this moment is if you look at Steve, he is in the moment. Laura? Hmm? I love you. Hmm. Hmm. Steve? Oh? I love you, too. Look at him, Steve. So, Steve... This is what this is what it is, man. When you go and you're persistent, you're persistent, Steve. Lord just told you from her face to your face that she loves you, man. Hey, Kelly and Jalil, once again, I just don't even. They, I feel like they deserve war awards for just even scenes they did, let alone the show. It, it couldn't be more perfect. She's in his arms, right, and she's feeling safe enough to say, "I love you too." It is just so beautiful. You don't know what to do. You don't know what to do with what to do with to do. Listen. Oh, you listen, sweetheart. Mm. Stefan is the man for you. With him, you'll live an exciting, glamorous life. Mm. And you'll be with a handsome man who never falls down. <laughs> Steve, what can I possibly offer you compared to that? A modest existence in a tiny apartment playing with test tubes and cheese? This is what's interesting about this again, a lesson that we can learn. Everybody is telling Laura how she feels and what she should do. Even Steve here. You know what I'm saying? This is why I love Laura because don't nobody influence her heart but her until she gives it permission. Steve, but how can you just leave? You told me you love me. She's confused. I do love you. You know, she said, you know, Steve, how can you leave? You told me you love me, right? But really what you have to listen to what Laura's actually saying is, Steve, how can you leave? I told you I loved you. Love you. Yeah, yeah, we, that's true. I adore you. Yeah. I worship the rain, waters the grass that grows on the ground you walk on. My goodness, Steve, talk to her. All I've ever wanted to do is make you happy. That's true, that's true. Well, the only way I believe I can do that is if I step aside. Uh -huh. Look at, the, look at the pain in this man. If I go and if I keep talking about how well Kelly and Jalil deliver these scenes, but just look at we're just gonna look at Stephen Lord. But look at the look at the pain in this man's face. It's not looking good for them right now. Not looking good. Uh oh, Lord, he's gonna leave. Goodbye, Laura. Lord, he's gonna leave. I do have one favor to ask of you. One small favor. Remember me. Oh. Oh. Oh, he got her. He got her. Look at that. He got her. Remember me. Steve is, Steve is, he is a smooth cat. You know what I'm saying? How many, how many people even say, like, remember me? You know, even if they know they're not going to see them again or anything like that. How many of, that's what I'm saying. Steve's delivery, if people really pay attention, like I said before, his delivery is actually smoother than Stefan. It's just Stefan was cooler. But Steve, is, he's, he's, he's matured now. The dude's smooth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's smooth. Steve, wait. You, you can't just leave. Why not? Because. Yeah, why, Laura? Because I can't imagine my life without you. Mm, okay. What are you trying to say? Yeah, he needs more. Well, I'm saying that I love you and I want to marry you. Mm. I love this moment. I'm sorry, y'all. Despite everything that they've said, she knows what she wants. Huh. 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 Steve, what are you do? Yes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. How does this not melt you? I'm melting. Oh, my gosh. I'm on the explore. Steve's going to walk in space. Mm. Oh, good Lord. What are those people thinking? Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> Least of all, young Stephen Urkel expected his artificial gravity device to cause such disaster. Yo, huh, I expected it. <laughs> right. So here we have a situation where, you know, at this point, Stephen Laura together, they're engaged. They're going to be the Urkels. You know what I'm saying? He's pretty much stuck in space now and think things are, th again, we in a sour situation, y'all. The future of Stephen Laura is literally in the air. Okay. Brave young man must attempt a dangerous walk in space to try to dislodge the communication satellite that has smashed into Explorer. <laughs> I did it! I did it! I got the satellite! I did it! Way to go, Steve.
Steve. How are you wearing it? What's that? I'm going to wear it. Uh oh. Don't worry, you'll stop when you reach the end of your tether. Tether? Oh no, see? Oh. Again, here we go. This is the ultimate sour moment between Steve and Laura. Like this. Oh my gosh. He didn't he didn't have a tether, so the man is just in space with oh. You may never see Laura ever again, ever, ever. The situation is dire indeed. Drifting off into space, only a few <laughs> minutes of oxygen remaining, mm -mm -mm. and no way to return to explore. I don't believe this. Mm. Oh, don't give up, Steve. Think. Goodbye, Laura. Goodbye, Laura. I want you to promise me that no matter what happens, you'll find a way to come back to me. No. Oh. So I love this in this moment. See. This is why you got to have a good woman, y'all. You got to have a good woman. You saw that Laura's voice and what she said calmed him enough to be able to think. And you can already see his brain is going to work. Just that little bitty thing that she said to him. Hey, Mitch. Does this sound like I've got this for all the adjustments? I don't know. What if I hot wire this sucker? Mm -hmm. Look, now he's thinking clearly. Now he's thinking clearly. Laura's voice calmed him down. It appears that a plan has been formulated by Steve Urkel himself. Look, that we thought that Pop goes the question when Steve was gonna leave would have been the end of Steve and Laura. This would have really been the end of Steve and Laura. Oh my god. He made it. He made it. Oh my god, it's a miracle. I can't believe this. Mm -hmm. The nerd's okay. Uh-huh, Lord, he's home now. He's home. Hi, Steve. Oh, gosh. <laughs> you get more beautiful every time I see you. Ooh, talk to her, Steve. Getting her bash. Are you going to welcome home, kiss? On one condition. Well, what's that? Hmm. that? You'll never go into outer space again. Got them to this most beautiful place. They're the Urkels now, man. They're the Urkels. Only when we kiss, Larley. <laughs> Laura Lee. Only when we kiss. <laughs> uh, only when we kiss, baby girl. Only when we kiss, huh? Oh man, what a roller coaster, right? I mean, from beginning to end, we're seeing all these different things that Stephen and Laura went through and how they came out victorious. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's what I think the the one thing that we can relate to it. Never devalued each other. That is a that is a big big thing that you're seeing in our culture today. You know, even within marriage, within mother, daughter, you're seeing a lot of devaluing people. Like, you know, I don't know if that's a word y'all just made up. It just because the Holy Spirit, give it to me, I'll give it to you. You know what I'm saying? But you do see a lot of people where, where we're just taking each other for granted. You know what I'm saying? And the thing that you look at it with, with Stephen Lord, even before they became the Arkles, you know, you know what I'm saying? Is that they did not do that. You know, they, you know, Lord be popping off at Steve and maybe Steve not being, you know, as um, thoughtful as he should in some situations. It wasn't because they weren't valuing each other. That's, I hope, the thing that people realize with Lord. It's not that Lord never valued Steve. It was not that. It's just that she did not find him romantically attractive at that time. But she never de she never devalued his person. And I, I just hope that that's really what people take away and what they see. So another thing you could look at that you saw from Stephen Law that I loved in this is that they would give each other room to get it right. You know, even when Steve popped off with Laura when they're in the hotel, he, he gave her room right there to get it right. And she got it right. You know, and there's times where Laura, same thing with Laura, you know, uh, with Steve, where Laura will give Steve that space to get it right, you know, and, and they were able to do it. And so now they come up into this beautiful place now that they both, Laura walking out, like, where's my man at? You know what I'm saying? You know, and Steve, oh, he always got the kiss on the mind. He always got the kisses on the mind, you know, but, uh, but yeah, man, uh, I could talk about this all day long. Love God, love people. May God bless you. May God keep you.